This here is a 2016 supercharged LSA uh, gear drive with a counter rotator. Uh, it's running 556 horsepower. It's running a the front blade is a turbo warp drive and the rear blade is a Sentinic uh, R series with the curved leading edge. A, a real good combination. This uh, boat right now is parked on what we call as a teeter point. And uh, the idea being is that when you have that, the ability to rock your boat, sometimes uh, that can mean the difference of getting getting going or not, even if you have high horsepower airboats. So when you're parking an airboat, always look for a teeter pointer if you're gonna be parking on dry ground. So we're gonna power this thing up and uh, climb this little hill and park it up on the hill there. And uh, away we go. The Canadian Airboat LSA supercharged airboat has the advanced instrumentation, uh, tack, fuel, has a little clock there, and then uh, voltage, temperature, and oil pressure, and has various uh, switches for your fuel, your your uh, bilge pump, nav lights, flood lights, rear lights, and a heater switch for. You can sometimes put on heater handles or just an interior uh, heater. It has a trim tab, however, with uh, it being an Avatar, it's 19 by 8, so it typically doesn't uh, need, a, need a trim tab. They don't bounce around that much. And it has uh, an alarm, an audio, audible alarm, about 90 decibels uh, if your oil pressure runs low or your engine temperature runs high, it signals uh, quite an audible sound there. It has a three-way starting system where you have to turn the, the percal switch on first and then turn your ignition to the on position and then you have to hit the, the start button and then it's a con computer controlled start. Yeah, once again, this is the LSA supercharged engine. It's an all aluminum marine engine, so it's about 250 pounds lighter than the older cast steel block engine. So that equates to about an extra 50 horsepower usable thrust. So although it's only 556 horsepower by factory rating, it behaves more like 600 horse. So it has a light gear drive and then it has the warp drive, uh, eight blade uh, turbo warp drive propeller and the two blade at the rear which is anybody that's ran airboats for a long time knows the efficiency of a two blade for that extra extra thrust these engines run an inner cooler so there's a radiator in front of the big radiator which is a circuit that's used solely for the engine inner cooler and then the rear uh, radiators about three inches larger than the normal big block NASCAR radiators and they have a uh, cooling uh, gallery there that runs into the engine so your oil is cooled and your engine is cooled.